Hi, whoever followed my posts lately knows that I am playing around with the Mandelbot set on Commodore 64 and you can see here on the screen a little piece of the code written in a C programming language to generate Mandelbot set on Commodore 64 and I am making video about this topic. Unfortunately something distracted me, something stole my attention and uh, just keeps spinning in my head and I need to get rid of it so that I can continue working on my original project here. Um, so this video is all about that, little snippets of code in Commodore Basic that are, that are currently in my head that I need to throw out here and just move on. <laughs> so let's begin. Okay, let's start with our first piece of the code. Let me just switch to white color to be much more visible. So we have line 10 and then print and then we have character 14 then we have middle function then we have again character 223 and we have one more character and that is uh, 233 and then we need some random number and then of course we need uh, multiply by 2 and then add 1 so we are generating random numbers from um, <clears throat> 1 or 2 then we need uh, one here then we need semicolon colon and go to then this is it this is the whole code let's list it here we go and now let's run it and see what it does as you can see um it generates um 10 print maze in high resolution looking good isn't it yeah real nice um it does remind me a little bit on those uh wallpapers that we used to have on windows 3.11 and, and mm -hmm. windows 95 yeah yeah so High resolution 10 print maze on Commodore 64. Real nice. Okay, let's move on. Okay, uh, you probably know this um, character 230, right? So we all know about that. So let's say that we um, <coughs> uh, print that character on all over the screen. Uh, semicolon colon go to one let's run it so I just fill the screen completely okay so what do we have here is just a checkerboard right so it's very very small um, and it's checkerboard so uh, what we are going to do now is going to make it a bit bigger and then bigger, bigger. Let's try. So let's new code. So let's go to one, and then we need um, character eighteen, and then we need a uh, character two hundred and twenty-six, and then we need character one hundred and forty-six. Um, and then we need character 226 again and then we need semicolon colon and then go to one is that all yeah i believe it is let's list it and let's run it as you can see we have um we are generating the checkerboard this time a little bit bigger it does look a little bit squashed but you know check about quite interesting so okay we are going somewhere and now we need to generate full checkerboard with the same square pieces um 
so let's let's do that uh, that's a little bit more uh, trickery to do that but we are going to try anyway so new program let's let's try it this will not be one line code <laughs> definitely um and i will explain later why is that uh so we need character 32 then we need uh, character 18 and then we need um, character 146 is that all yeah okay so 20 let's print b string and then a string string and then c string and then a string one more time semicolon colon c equals c plus one colon and then we are going to have some ifs equals 20 and then uh, f string equals b string colon b string equals c string colon c string equals f string colon c equals zero and then line 30 we go go to 20. okay i believe this is it this is the whole code let's list it yeah looks looks like it could be okay let's try it hey here we go we have a checkerboard, <laughs> full-size checkerboard, on Commodore 64, in Commodore Basic, of course. Yeah, it's doing in this in decent speed. <laughs> and um, let with the code, let's um, add some add some more code to this. Uh, let's go to line number five. Then we will uh, poke at uh, 53281 and that is background color and we are going to set it to one. And we are going to do one more thing and we are going to character 18 and then uh, character um, 28 okay now let's list that so we are poking we were setting up um, background color and this um, print uh, two characters behind um, um, those column is uh, setting up the font color so let's run it and see um, <clears throat> what uh, shall we get oh look at that so um one question for you is that um is this uh, amiga checkerboard pattern or this is um creation checkerboard pattern <laughs> i would say both yeah it look it look nice real nice it look nice really really nice yeah okay okay the next one and i'm not going to type in this one i'm gonna copy paste this um Here we go. It's another one liner. And this is a <coughs> quite interesting patterns uh, generator here. This looks like a QR code or some kind of uh, topography or something like that. Yeah. It's quite interesting. Okay, enough of that. Now I need to try one more thing. <clears throat> and that is... That 
is uh, it's, you know, I need to um poke five three two eight one comma one a print character eighteen and character twenty eight and then line ten is print um, character fourteen then character two point three uh, plus character of two three <coughs> and the number of character plus one then one I have everything. No, I'm still missing semicolon, colon, and go to 10. Is that all? Uh, let's list it. And let's run it. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Looking real nice. So it's a bit slow, so it doesn't have that nice effect, but still. And this is all for today. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, beautiful patterns that we created on uh, Commodore 64. And until the next one, goodbye.